It's March 2nd, 2020. This is Wes Fryer. And in this video, I'd like to talk a little bit about how you can use Hangouts Meet by Google to provide virtual office hours. And I'll talk first a little bit about why to do that, why Hangouts Meet is a great solution, especially if you're a Google education school. And then we'll just do a quick demo to show you how it works and it integrates with Google Calendar. So first off, why would you want to offer virtual office hours? Well, if you need to teach students at a distance and you are not in the same place, the nightmare scenario, and I've seen this many times helping you know, teachers as well as university faculty, is to provide 100% of your support for students and parents via email. You do not want to do that. That is crazy, especially <clears throat> the more students you have, but even if you have a limited number of students, if that's the way everybody's asking questions, you know, you're going to pull your hair out and it's really not going to be fun for you. So what I recommend there, number two, is a combination of both live virtual office hours and then also some kind of a bulletin board or an interactive FAQ or frequently asked questions list. And you can do this in a variety of ways. If you're using Google Classroom, you can use the stream feature um, that's just on the, the homepage when, when students land, allowing them as they are by default to be able to post questions there and you can answer them. But you can also use a Google site and then you can have a form there, a Google form that you can embed where students can post questions. Then those questions go into a spreadsheet for you and you can answer those. And in some cases, you may answer them with a video screencast like this. <clears throat> in other cases, you may just be able to have text answers. Um, but you can also use a discussion board on your student information system. So if you're using some other, you know, kind of information system, Canvas, uh, Schoology, you know, Blackboard, uh, something that's another SIS, um, you can do that. Um, the third reason is that you can provide complex answers much more quickly over a live teleconference than you can, you know, typing them all out or, you know, screencasting. And you can also, you know, demo. Uh, Google Hangouts Meet supports screen sharing, so if you need to show something on your screen, you can even do that as well. And finally, it supports the recording of sessions for students who can't tune in live, and that is fantastic. So those are all reasons why you might want to offer virtual office hours. Let's talk specifically about why Google Hangouts Meet is a good solution. Now, if you've heard of Google Hangouts before, Google is basically, they basically sunsetted as of the time of this recording in March of 2020. Um, you know, certainly the full feature and function of Google Hangouts, and, and there's still some legacy availability. But the biggest thing is, if your school uses Google's uh, G Suite for Education, sometimes called GSEFI, or abbreviated GSFE, it is completely free. And it supports up to 100 simultaneous users. So, you know, unless you're teaching a lot of sections of, of the same class, that is probably going to handle, you know, most of the, the kinds of conferences that teachers are going to need to do. Um, and you could you could break it up, you know, if you if by section, but you know you're you're hopefully not not teaching, um, you know, more students. You you may have more students in the same section, but that's that's how many can simultaneously connect. Um, it's also multi-platform, so your students can connect with a smartphone, whether that's an iPhone or an Android phone. They can use the Chrome browser on a laptop. Um, it is very flexible in that way. And it also integrates with Google Calendar. And this is fantastic because if you're going to need to set up, um, let's say, regular office hours where students can tune in live, uh, you want them to be notified of that. And the best way to do that in the Google universe is to use Google Calendar. And the final thing is, as I mentioned earlier as a reason, uh, you, you want to record sessions and you can with Google Hangouts Meet. Um, and so, you know, that's fantastic um, because not all students are going to be able to, you know, probably attend every session live. So uh, it's important to note that you will be needing to use your school or if you're not you know, part of a school using Google, you'll need a business or enterprise license in order to start a meeting. You can join a meeting that someone else is having with Hangouts Meet 
but you you can't start one yourself. And so the main way that you're going to be creating all this and what I'm going to do in this demo, uh, it, or I'll sh- I could I can show you, is to go to meet.google.com. I'm actually going to show you how to start this right from the calendar because I think that's the easiest way to do this. But you can go to meet.google.com. You can also go to your app store for either iPhone or Android, and you can find the Hangouts Meet app, and you can download that. And you can also instruct your students um, uh, for you know th- th- that they can join that way but the best way for them to join is really going to be using the calendar and that's what I'm going to demonstrate so if you are on your own personal non-school non-business account this is what you're going to see on that uh, meet.google.com site it's just going to let you join and so if you have more than one Google account really the best practice is to set up a different person inside your Chrome browser so you separate them but a lot of teachers I work with actually log in with both accounts and so sometimes they're not entirely clear which account they're on so make sure you're on your school account and that is the one you're going to want to use to create the hangout meet so I'm not going to go through all of these details but 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 um, the Google Suite for Education falls under this basic um, category, and so you're going to have that limit of 100. But you're going to be able to um, have presentations. If parents want to join, they'll need a Google account to do that, um, but they can you know, even join when they don't have a school account. And, um, well, I guess actually... Uh, that's important to recognize, isn't it? In order to record the meetings and save them to drive, haha, you're going to have to be at the enterprise level. So that would be something to check into in terms of the pricing um, because I don't actually think the basic uh, Google Suite or uh, G Suite for schools is going to do that. So, hey, that's going to require a little more research on my part. All right, so let's exit this presentation. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to move over to my calendar. And what I want to just do as a quick demo is I'm going to set up a meeting. So here we are on March the 2nd. I'm going to just click here to do a new meeting. And I'm going to call this my test uh, live office hours. Now, if you were going to set this up as a recurring thing, you know, you could do that. I'm going to say, hey, we're just going to, we're going to do that. And we're going to start, you know, here at 11, uh, let's say we're going to just start in like two minutes. We're going to start at 11.02 and we're going to go to 11.30 p.m. Hey, it's late tonight. So there we go. Now, uh, this is where we would add conferencing. I usually will just choose more options. Uh, and incidentally, I'm not putting this on my main calendar. I've got a lot access to a lot of calendars. Um, but this is where you're going to select the calendar that you're going to use. And I guess it's worth saying that if you're using Google Classroom, this is where you'll select your class, right? Every Google Classroom class has its own calendar. And so I could just immediately put this on a particular class's calendar. Um, but in this case, I'm, I'm uh, and then, then all the students are going to get the invitation, uh, they should, you know, to this event um, that you're going to have. So we can say add location on Google Hangouts meet and then this is where you add the conferencing and this is why it is so powerful to do this you know instead of other kinds of solutions because if you're already using Google you've got access to Google Calendar you've got access to Hangouts meet so I'm going to go ahead and select Hangouts meet and right here it's going to to create everything that students are going to need to join Hangouts meet um, so again if I was doing this for a class I could select my class right here If you're not using Google Classroom, and a number of our teachers are not, what I would recommend, and I've just created over here a um, little, you know, sample of fake addresses. You're going to want to copy all of your students' email addresses and get those from your student information system, and then you can paste them in as guests. And so if they're comma separated or they're on separate lines, you can just paste them in here, press return, and they're all going to go in here, and they will receive an email that they are invited to the event. Um, you you um, may want to go ahead, and I would recommend adding some instructions here. Please use the provided link. Uh, to join our Hangouts Meet, okay? And you can put whatever else you want here. You can also click on the attachment, and even though it doesn't look like it's a Google Drive, this will let you go ahead and load 
you know, any of the, of the Google Docs that you have, and so you can attach those. And that's also really, really a great tip. In fact, let me do that as an example. I'll just load up the slideshow that I'm doing here. Because if you're going to talk about a resource in an, in a meeting or an appointment, that allows people to readily get to it without having to go search for it in Google Drive or find it in email. So, uh, let's see, it looks like I'm, uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to start at 11.04 here because my we delayed a little bit or whatever. It'll, it gives me a window of time. But this is if I wanted to do regular office hours, this is when I would say, hey, this is going to happen, you know, weekly or daily or whatever. Um, and that way you, you don't have to set these up Individually, you could you know set up a whole series. But here we go. I'm going to go ahead and click Save, and it says, "Do you want to send your email invitations to the guests?" And I'm going to say, "Yes, we do." And it says that they're outside the organization, um, and that may be because I made up those addresses and they're not actually real. And so, anyway, we're going to go ahead and send them that, and it actually also sent them access to the file. So um, here we are in the. Uh, Guess did I say I wasn't going? That's so silly. I said no to my own event. Um, here we are for our event, and oh, it says it's going to be going two days long. Wow, that's that's a bit of a long event. I guess I need to fix that. So hey, this is still going to be on the same day, March second. So edit that, and I'm not going to send that to my um, my users. So or the, my invitees. So here we go. Um, I've set this up. Obviously, you're going to want to set these events up well in advance so people have a chance to receive them. Uh, one of the things that you're going to want to clearly communicate to your students if you're teaching at a distance, of course, is, you know, these kinds of things in a syllabus. Uh, if you're ending up teaching, you know, students uh, maybe on an unexpected basis, um, you know, whatever, you're going to want to clearly communicate the expectation of how they're going to uh you know, be able to join the the meeting. So here we are. Um, man, that's kind of weird. Okay, here's my te my live my live my live uh, test. And notice right here, and um, we'll zoom zoom in here. There's two ways to join. This is also hugely important. If students cannot join via a computer or some kind of internet connected device, they can also just use a phone. And so every Hangouts Meet has a phone number with a pin code that students can use to join. So what I'm gonna do right now to get this going is I'm gonna click on Join Hangouts Meet. And here we go, it's gonna fire up and actually, I don't really want to turn my camera on, so I'm going to turn my camera off. Uh, but I've got my microphone going. No one's here, of course, because this is a fake meeting. But I'm going to go ahead and say join the meeting, and boom, here I am. Um, now, if I wanted to present to this meeting, um, I have that option. And I'll include below in the description to this video a link to the really excellent tutorial uh, and it's called, well, it's G Suite training. So, um, is generally a good idea to join your meeting early um, so that people are going to be able to join. And so, maybe ten minutes beforehand, you're gonna you're gonna go ahead and join, and you'll go ahead and see your participants. And so, when you have participants, there's going to be a chat where people are going to be able to uh, visit, and you're going to be able to see who's available here inside the chat. Uh, and you can actually turn on captions. That's kind of cool. So as you're talking, um, <laughs> it's going to provide captions live as you do that. Um, and then if you want to present and you want to show content, you can go ahead and do that. Um, so you have the ability to control whether you're going to be showing your camera or not, whether you're going to be able to you know, mute your microphone when you're, when you're on there. And then when you are all done, you're going to be able to hang out. Or sorry, you're going to be able to hang up here. So, um, that is just a, a real basic overview. Again, I'll include a link to the official uh, G Suite um, orientation document, that um, training document that gives a lot of good background. There's a cheat sheet, I think, that's available. Um, and that, that information can take you more in depth. But hopefully this gives you an overview. It makes the case for why virtual office hours are really important when you're you know, teaching online or teaching at a distance. And then why Hangouts meet is such a great solution for Google for Education schools. Good luck, and I hope that you find this helpful.